Welcome to the LSE Methodology Institute Stata Tutorial Series sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this video we will show how to compare two means from independent samples using the t-test. In this video we'll be comparing two means from independent samples using the t-test. And to do that, first we'll look at this continuous variable here called resources, which will be our dependent variable. And that variable is, uh, there's a statement, we are using up the Earth's resources too quickly. And respondents are asked to place themselves on a 10 point scale, where 1 is no, we're definitely not using up the Earth's resources too quickly, and 10 being that we definitely are. And then we're going to group their resources by gender which is the variable here. And so what we're doing in essence is finding out whether or not there's any difference between males and females on their level of agreement with that statement. And to do that in Stata is actually quite simple. We put in t-test and then the name of our continuous dependent variable which is resources and then we press comma and then we put in the option by and then our grouping variable which is gender and then close parentheses and press enter and then we see a lot of output so now what we're going to tell you is what some of that output means we have here the output of the t-test to compare the means in the population of female and male in the statement that says that we are using up the health resources too quickly we have the descriptive statistics here and we have the number of observations for female and for male and here we have the mean for female and male we can see that in a 10 point scale female agree 5.99 with the statement that says that we are using up the earth resources too quickly the sample mean for male is 4.55 so female agree more with the statement than male in the sample we also have the standard error, we have the standard deviation and the 95 confidence interval of the means in the population for female and for male. We are testing the hypothesis, the null hypothesis, that says that the mean difference in the population between female and male is equal to zero. The alternative hypothesis states that the mean difference in the population between female and male is different from zero. We can see the p-value here that is very small, is smaller than any conventional level of significance, which is enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis and to conclude that there is a difference between female and male means in the population in the statement that says that you are using up the Earth's resources too quickly. Female agree more than male with this statement. Goodbye.